I was born in the hoods that have come to the woods. I'm the bummer with a hammer, I'll deliver the goods. He the first one is rapping on Hampstead Heath. Bitches love his man boobs and solid coke teeth. What shit? <laughs> I ain't saying he's a gold dogger, but he ain't chatting to that poor jogger. <laughs> I put the C in rap, the S in hit. Got an August for me bling, prime out for me kit. I ain't saying he's a gold dogger, but he ain't chatting to that poor jogger. <laughs> Yo, stop it, stop, 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 boy. Please. Like, Seriously, the, the track is all good, the set, the, the, the girls is good and everything, but why is the dude named Kanye acting like he's gay? Well, Kanye, <laughs> with regards to Al, I think there's maybe one or two things I should explain. <laughs> Bitches, host, do you want to... <laughs> the thing is, Al loves cock. Mate, you're so proud to see, you know, you're writing that song and we've just twisted it into this amazing piece of art, isn't it? <laughs> I can see from your face you're over the moon. <laughs> Do you think we'd make good uh, rappers, though? No. <laughs> I won't push it. Yeah, OK. <laughs> OK, after the break, I'll be doing the Friday Night News with Alan. See you then. Yo, yo, Jungle is massive. Also coming up in part two, Kanye performs live. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Welcome back to the Friday Night Project. I'm Justin Lee Collins. Here's Alan Carr and Kanye West with the Friday Night News. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Friday Night News. I am Ron Williams Burgundy. <laughs> and I'm Alan Carr. Coming up, we've got all the big stories in the other news. A tented campsite full of environmental campaigners are planning a week of direct action at Heathrow. Last action I heard of was affirmative action, but at Heathrow... Action. Uh, yes. Action. Yes. Yeah, I like it. I'm right behind your brothers and sisters. <laughs> but would you mind holding off the protest around 2.30 p.m. Saturday? I'm flying out to a hen party in Saudi. <laughs> Juanita's getting married. <laughs> I got a very good price for her. <laughs> Sunderland soccer boss Roy Keane complained this week that footballers were putting off playing because their wag girlfriends didn't like the shops. <laughs> You're scaring me, Kanye. <laughs> Oh, Kanye, the wags of it back saying they're not only interested in shopping, no, no, they're also interested in mock Tudor mansions and having a face like a tangerine. <laughs> have you been to, uh, have you been to Sunderland, Kanye? I don't know what that is. No, no. <laughs> don't bother, it's a shithole. <laughs> it is, it's a shithole. <laughs> Your manager says, hey, we're touring, we're going to Sunderland. Say, no, 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 no. <laughs> they want me to go to Sunderland. I said, no, no. <laughs> Kanye, I've got something under the desk I want to show you. <laughs> It better be a beautiful woman wearing a nothing but a gold bikini. Kanye, oh, yeah, you've been peeking. You've spoiled my surprise. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bye, Pam. <laughs> oh. I thought that was for me, though. Oh, I see. No, she's off now, yeah. You've pissed off Pam. Look at her. A <laughs> shift's starting in a minute, anyway. <laughs> You'll have to make do with my own new topical barometer. <laughs> so what's hot and what's not this week, Alan? Well, <laughs> look what's going down, Kanye. <laughs> Kanye. 
Rotten. Sorry, Rotten. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Cheeky Girls. <laughs> you know the Cheeky Girls, Kanye? Touch my bum. It is nice. I am a cheeky girl. You. I'll just get on with it. <laughs> The cheeky girls are flying back to Romania to have their botched boob jobs repaired. <laughs> yes, the girls will be returning in more style than they arrived. Yes, they've actually got a seat this time, rather than just clinging on to the undercarriage. <laughs> <laughs> they shit piss off. <laughs> Apparently, Gabriella's tits are more lopsided than Monica's, which is good for Lembit Opic. It's the only way he can tell them apart in a power cut. <laughs> What's next, Alan? <laughs> <laughs> Going up, Kanye, it's Rose Wine. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The days of the lager lout are over, as research shows a drop in lager sales and a rise in drinkers of rosé wine. Rosé, ooh! I mean, those rosé louts are going to be so confusing, aren't they? Walking past the Yates's on a Friday night and someone shouts out, Oi, mate, are you fucking queer? <laughs> you don't know if you're going to be beaten up or invited back for nibbles. <laughs> I've got a piece in the fridge, it's not going to eat itself. <laughs> Even tramps are on the rosé these days, honestly. <laughs> the man in my doorway assures me it's the perfect summary accompaniment to a half-eaten Morrison's cheese and onion slice fresh from the wheelie bin. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't actually say that. He said, oh, no, no! <laughs> and uh, finally, Alan, well... Kanye, uh, Ron, sorry. Ron. Yeah, Ron, Ron. <laughs> Glaswegian lottery winners. Going up, yes. A Glaswegian post office worker won the thirty-five million pound Euro lottery jackpot this week. <laughs> yes. Everyone cheered in the office. I tell you, it's not easy cheering through gritted teeth and muttering "fruitly rich" at the same time. <laughs> Camelot whisked her off to a secret location, which I guess in Glasgow could be anything from a Holland and Barrett health store to a dentist. <laughs> They've got bad teeth in Glasgow, do you get it? Only in Glasgow? I'm not, I'm not from Glasgow, don't look at <laughs> The lucky winner says she's really going to spoil herself, starting with a deep-fried Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> <laughs> That's all from Friday Night News. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Now it's time for Who Knows the Most about the guest host. Here are the rules. Each team is playing for one side of the audience. Alan for the left. <laughs> and Justin for the right. <laughs> At the end of the quiz, a representative of the winning team will put on a coat of cash and run into their side of the audience. And in my honor, it's covered in dollars. <laughs> Before all of that, let's meet the teams. Zim Zim a bo bo. My <laughs> guest is whack. <laughs> He's the Mac Daddy. He's even had a cat popped in his ass. Oh, man. <laughs> Tim Westwood. <laughs> well, my guest hasn't had a cat popped in her ass. <laughs> But if she had, I'd remove it with my teeth. <laughs> she needs to beware of this doll. <laughs> it's the lovely Jamelia. <laughs> you need to stand up. Stand up, please stand up. <laughs> I swear to God, I want to bite your ankle <laughs> and cock my leg. <laughs> He said, cock. 
<laughs> okay, fingers on the buzzers. My mom found, oh, how appropriate. My mom, my mom, my mom, as you would say. <laughs> my mom found an X-rated movie in my room when I was 14. How did she punish me? Jamelia. Did she do that thing? You know, like when your mom finds you with cigarettes and she makes you smoke the whole packet? Did she in invite like a whole load of porno models to the house? Just <laughs> more and yeah, more, more yeah, porn. I wish. Like, no. So you got sick of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was incorrect. Kanye, did your mum make you walk up and down the street wearing a sign around your neck saying, I like touching myself? <laughs> You're close. Not, not quite, not quite. Did she um, hit your cock with a rolled up take a break magazine? <laughs> <laughs> 